Hi everyone, I'm Jen Allen, and today's workout is a power cardio workout using the foam roller. Because you'll be moving the foam roller fast and with your arms, you will feel the power of your core as you make those moves. You'll also be moving your legs, so you will feel the benefit of cardio work. To be safe, make sure you have a good pair of shoes and some space around you to move side to side and forward and back. Short blast of workout today that will incorporate the whole body, core, arms, legs, and cardio. So as we get started today, take the foam roller and use a foam roller that you can hold in your hand. It can be a little shorter, a little longer than mine. Roll those shoulders. My foam roller is about two feet. As long as you can hold it in your hand, it will work. Roll those shoulders. As you roll the shoulders, add a march with your feet. Right foot first, right, left, right, left. Bring the foam roller up into your chest. Push forward, backwards, warming up the body. And pay attention to when your body starts to feel ready for more than a warm up. Take it up high, bring it in. That transition from warm up to workout. Forward and backwards, up and down. Forward, back, up and down. Take a wide march, march. Just let your shoulders bounce. Start to feel the rhythm. Bounce. Good, bring the feet back in together. Out, out, in, in, right foot first. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Now change this to a B step forward, forward, back, back. Bringing the foam roller up to your shoulders and adding a little rotation. Twist, twist. Now tighten up that core. Twist, twist. Twist, 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 twist. Changing the arms as you V-step. Push forward, push forward, push forward. Take four more of these, forward and around. Three, two, feet together, heel raises, push it forward. Heel raise. Step out left foot first this time. Out, out, in, in, let the shoulders bounce. Take it to that B step, hold it at your chest and twist, twist. Good, really focus on the rotation and the tightness of the core, the power coming from the foam roller. Change the arms to reach forward and around. Again. Let's do four more, starting to transition from work, warm up to workout. Feet together, heel raises, push up. With your right foot, step touch side to side, arms into the chest. This is side to side, step touch. Push forward, pull back. Take the toe cross behind, reach forward and pull to your hip. Back to the step touch, reach forward, pull in. Take it to the toe touch behind, reach forward, cross to the hip. Keep it here, take it over the head, feeling the power of that move coming again from the core strength. Let's put it together, step touch, reach forward. Toe touch behind, reach to the hip. Over the top, bigger. Take it four more times right here. Take a step tap, wide feet. Good, step wide, tap wide. Bring it into a deep squat. Deep squat. Holding that foam roller in nice and tight. Back to the right foot, step tap wide. Take it into a low twist. Into a middle twist, coming right in front. More extension through the arms. Over the head, height. Like you're tossing that foam roller up and over, up and over. Good, take it back to the middle. Twist, back to the low. Back to the middle. Back up to the high. Take it back to the middle. Now we're going to take this move, really engage into our legs and core twice as fast. 
Here we go. Right, left, right, left, right. You can start down a little bounce with your feet. Good. Oh, oh. Now I'm going to add a little knee lift. Listen up. Three of these. One, two, three. Hop. One, two, three. Right, left, right, knee. Right, left, right, knee. Pull. Center squat. Center squat. Keep it in tight. Fast twist, left, right, left, left. Keep it in your legs. Add a little bounce in your legs, a little more. Three of them, then the right knee will pull up. Three, two, one, knee. Power from that center core. Four more. Three, two. Take the foam rolling down to the right foot. Down, up to the left shoulder. Wood chop through the chest. Use as much legs as you can. Bend over and reach up. Change the mood to swinging. Down, swing up. Down, swing up. Very functional work here. Four more. Whew. As you finish this, face into that right side. Step curl back, knee lift. Rocking horse move. The foam roller comes down. Chest, chest. Now instead of going into the chest, it goes down, down. Up and down using the shoulders. Hamstring curl, knee lift. One more. Squat, 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 good. Now take that wood chop to the left side. Down, up. Go lower, go higher. Down, up. Like a golf swing, swing down, swing up. Swing down, swing up. Get lower in those legs. Four more. Three. Turning to the left side, step hamstring curl down, chest. Rocking horse. Good, keep that going. Rocking horse. Now instead of bringing it to the chest, just up and down. Up, 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 up. Whew. Right there. Keep it going again. Find the core muscles. Stepping up to the right, squat, just hold. Whew. Now step to the right, step hamstring curl, heel back, heel back. Let the arms drop, curl, curl, little bicep curl. Swing the arms side. Change the leg to a side kick. Change the move to a slide up and over the tops. Take it slide up and over, up and over. Take that foot, touch back. Swing, swing. Good, stay center, figure eight. Figure eight. And you have three figure eights. One, two, that right foot crosses back. Right, left, right foot crosses back into a curtsy. Again. Woo. One more. Jumping jacks, arms high. Take it into a wide position. Figure eight, three times left leg crossed back. So the figure eight goes to the left side first. Left, left leg crosses back. Bigger, strong. Two more. One more. Jumping jacks, reach up. Reach forward. Power jack, 
Push out. Out, circle in. Out, circle in. Out, circle in. Keep working like this with your legs, but change the circle. Push down, out, pull in. Push down and out. Whew. Good, finish with four more. Whew. Boxer shuffle side to side. Whew. Take the foam roller out in front of you, like a steering wheel. One hand up, one hand down. Bring it in, march. Take the foam roller above your head. Bring your right knee up and your left knee. As the knees come up, foam roller comes down. Contracting abdominals. Double. Other side. One more. Two. Wide knee singles. Wide knee double. Step squat center. Squat center. From here, step to a right side squat, left side squat. So a slow sumo squat. As you take this slow, down, in, down. Drive it down to the floor. Energy pushing down. Woo! This is gonna get twice as fast. Ready? You have push, 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 push. You got it. Four more right here. Go four. Woo. Three. Two. One. Tap, tap, tap. Switch sides. Four. Switch. Switch. The arms go up and down. Switch. Switch. So adding that knee lift so the move is bigger. Switch. As you continue, pull it across the hip. Switch. So instead of the knee, drive it down the hip. Switch. Switch. Woo. Jog it out right there. Let the legs pendulum side to side. Arms down. Swing up. Don't worry about which direction. Just find a natural pendulum. Arms forward. Arms high. Arms center. Take the right foot. Tap back. Side. Put your foam roller by your shoulders. Go low, go high. Twist, stay low. Stay low, twice as fast. Boom. Quick reaction time. Slow down, knee lift. Knee lift, taking the foam roller over the head. You have four. Last one, step on that right foot. Left foot, toe touches back, toe touches back. So you're going high, low, twist, shoulder, shoulder. Same move, stay low even when you tap. Now after four more, you're gonna stay real low. Engage that right leg. And move that left one quick. Ready? Here we go. Quick, quick. Speed, quick reaction. Four, three. Slow down. Up and over the head. Add the knee lift. Now you've got four more. Make them as big as you can. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your leg 
sideways together, just squat, reach up. Now I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see the next move. You don't have to, but make sure you have some room behind you. From here, take it all the way to the floor. Make sure your hands are on the side, step out. Engage the tummy, neck, chin up, jump forward, jump back. So you've got to push down with the bow roller, put your hands on the sides. So mini burpee. Stay wide, jacks. Push down with the hands. You're going to tilt. So push down with one side, up with the other. With your right leg, step to the side in a lunge. Step back into a plank. Left side, side to lunge. Step back, speed it up. Now the goal here is to push down and activate the arms on the foam roller and keep it from moving. Four more. Woo. Jump your feet forward. Pick up the foam roller, lift up. Squat into the chest, down and up. Good. From here, take a low hold. From here, push forward. Pull in, push forward. Stay low, push forward faster so you pump, pump, pump. Let's add some power. Three pumps. Jump. Three pumps. Jump. Three pumps. Jump. Three pumps. One pump, one jump. One more time. Stay in the jump. So it's like a jump rope. Take the foam roller down by your legs and side to side. The foam roller is going to move opposite where your feet are. It's a mobile. Take it up by the chest or twist. Keep your knees soft. Twist, arms up. Step wide plie. Wide plie. Stay down in your pull, plie and pulse. Arms come forward. Come forward. Whew. Lean to your right side. Tilt, come back. Tilt, come back. Lift your left elbow. Stay in the tilt. Hold. You push, push. So when the foam roller goes up to that diagonal, the body goes down. Woo! Back to center. Pulse the legs. Push forward. Pump. To the left side, tilt. Lift your right elbow. Stay low in your legs. Take low and hold, pushing the foam roller up. As you push up, body leans down. Power through. Back to center, pulse, 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 pulse. Stay as low as you can in your legs, twist, twist. Twist, twist. Feet together, twist, twist. Don't move your hips. Take the foam roller circle over your head. Up, up, up. Reverse momentum going Ooh, through the foam roller. Up and around, up and around. Reverse to the right, reverse to the left, to the right, to the left. Lunge back with your right leg, step back in. Left leg, alternate rear lunges. As you come in, the foam roller goes up, into the chest, down, up. Stay down, pulse three. 
Push up. Even pull some foam roller into the chest. Pull up. Again. Now, on those three counts, making a little change. Step back. Turn sideways. Up. Turn sideways. So you're in a lunge and then a plie. Get the legs. Then we'll add the arms. When you're in the plie, you push forward. In, up. Up, good. Woo! Now, without any arms, same thing, but no arms. Add a jump into each move. Step back, side, jump in, again. Push forward. Back, forward, turn, lift up. Back, woo. One more each side. Last one. Woo. Right leg only. Knee up. Drag the knee up. Knee up. Knee up. Kick forward. Kick forward. Add a rotation over the kicky leg. Twist. Woo. Feet together. Hold. Transition left leg back, knee comes in. Good, we're almost there. Add a kick. Twist. Twist. So you're twisting over the front leg. Four. Three. Two. One, feet together, pulse. Take it to a right side and step back in. Right, same side. Now that leg to the right pushes over and across. Inner thigh adductors. Foam roller. Twist. Now I'm gonna take this twice as fast. Get ready. You have tap, pull, pull, pull. That's big core power. Squat and hold. Starting with a slower tempo. Left side, squat, touch in. Just touch in, get used to it. Squat, pull across. Woo. Add the twist. Pull. Over that left hip. Over that left shoulder. Twice as fast. Tighten up the power in the core. Swing. Pull. Yeah. Center squat. Almost there. Step touch right to left. Step touch. Take the heel forward. Drive it into the floor. Let the arms start to take a, a small figure eight. It's a natural reaction to the legs. Over the leg that's coming forward. Bigger. Making the legs bigger too, you add a hop, heel, hop, heel. Phew. Step touch side to side. Big step touches, make sure you got a little room to the side. Two to the right before you come back to the left. Two. Two. Make it a great bind, so it crosses behind. Tip the foam roller towards the way you're going. Like you're digging a shovel into the ground. Dig in. Dig in. Circle over the head. Dig in. Dig in. Dig in. Four. Three. Two. Step touch side to side. Go back to two steps to the right. Two left. On the second step, touch you leap. Step, leap. Step together, push forward. Step together, push forward. You push forward, up. So on the leap, it's up. Forward on the step. 
Up on the leap. One more each way. Now just leap side to side. Go side. Come on, push it out. Keep your leaps over your head. Power. Take your feet wide. Fast feet. Pump, pump. This is our last move. Higher legs, higher pump. Woo. Finish it off. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Bend. You got it. That's your cardio for the day. Woo. Stay low. Hold. Bring the foam roller vertically in front. Hands on it. Slow plies. Slow plies. Woo. Bring the heart rate down, stay low. Put your right hand on it, left arm to the side, over and back. Some moving stretches. Stay there and hold. Hold. Take your foam roller and push it across the body so you really get a nice torque in those obliques. Internal with the right arm, external with the left. Bring it up. Switch hands, left side goes over. Bring it back, over, bring it back. First time you ever do something that's different and new, which is most likely this workout with the foam roller, do it again. Take it over, hold. Feel that nice stretch. Now take the foam roller in your left hand, push it across on a diagonal. So you're getting this really nice stretch of the external on the right, internal twist, stretch on the left. Good, bring it back. Turn to the right leg. Put your foam roller up by the foot. Push your left heel down into the floor for a calf stretch. Hold. So like I was saying, anything something is new to you and unfamiliar, the more you do it, the better and harder it gets because the moves become better. Lift the heel up. Roll the heel back down. So stretch the foot. Definitely had some impacting today. Lift, hold, bend your knee, straighten it, bend the knee, straighten it, bend the knee, straighten it. One more time, bend the knee, straighten it. Turn forward, transition to the left leg, bring the foam roller with you, lunge back through your heel, feel that stretch. Lift that heel up, push your heel down. And the more you do it, the more efficient you do become, so therefore you definitely need to focus. And because it's a short workout, you want to give your 100% to it. Lift up the heel, bend your knee, straighten it, bend it, so hip flexor stretch, push back, pull, push back, one more pull, bring your feet together, bring your foam roller forward into your left hand. Take your right heel forward and pull the hip back. Hand behind your back for now. Try to open up your chest and shoulders. Take the right arm forward to a diagonal right next to your ear. Now you don't have to touch your foot, but if you can do it, reach towards your foot. If you can reach your toes and pull, feel free to go there. Bring your foot in, change the foam roller. Heel. Hand behind back, pull the hips back, bend that right knee. Open up your chest. Swing that left arm forward up next to your ear. Whew. Did need a lot of space. A couple of feet on each side, give me a little bit of room behind me. Reach down towards your foot. But the more space you have, the bigger you can make your movement. And again, when the time is short, it doesn't matter how long you work out, depends on how hard you work out. So if it's a long distance, then your intensity can be lower. If it's short, pick up that intensity. Bring your feet in, step into a wide position. Then straightening your left leg, bend into your right. So inner thigh. Take the foam roller and just use it to push forward. Lift up and over. Lengthening your right leg, inner thigh stretch, and just using the foam roller for support. Bring your feet together in a forward fold, drop your head, soften your knees. 
knees. Let your elbows drop right next to the foam roller. Now push the chin forward and lengthen your back, hips back, soft knees. Turn your foam roller down to the floor. Place your right hand on it. Bend your right knee, lift the heel. Turn your left hand all the way up. Bring it down. Left heel comes up, left knee bends, rotate and twist. Bring it down, leave your foam roller there, roll all the way up. Bring your hands behind your back, open up your chest and lengthen even all the way down your biceps. You're holding that foam roller in front of you the whole time, lengthen. Take your right ear to your right shoulder. Take your left ear to your left shoulder. Take your hands behind your head and gently press forward. Open the elbows and feel your chest open. Drop your right elbow. Lift up and over and drop your left elbow. Keep your chest wide open. And bring your head back in. Hope you feel like your heart rate has come down safely. Release your hands. Take a deep breath in, reach up. Exhale. And you are all done with that cardio workout. Thank you so much for joining me today. Subscribe to Fitness with Jen Allen and check out the other variety of workouts. To me, variety is the spice of my training. The more creative I can be using different things to work out with, the more fun it is. So come back and see me again. Check out other workouts. Have a wonderful day.